Imagine an engine so well-engineered, so indestructible, that it threatened the very business model of the company that built it. That engine was the Mercedes M104. It wasn't a thunderous V8, nor a rugged diesel meant for heavy work. Instead, it was a refined straight six, developed in the late 1980s, that would quietly become a problem, not for competitors, but for Mercedes itself. The issue? It was too reliable, too durable, almost too perfect, and in an industry where breakdowns and frequent servicing had become part of the profit strategy, this was unforgivable. This is the story of one of the best kept secrets in automotive history, an engine that wasn't discontinued because it failed, but because it succeeded too well. What you're about to discover might permanently change the way you look at the car industry. Picture the scene, Stuttgart, Germany, early 1990s. Inside Mercedes headquarters, a closed door meeting is underway. Around the table sit engineers in sharp suits, stacks of data and precise charts spread before them. One of the engineers begins his report. The M104 engine demonstrates a 99.7% reliability rate over the first 500,000 kilometers. No major failures, virtually no internal wear, and maintenance costs reduced by 40% compared to the previous generation. The room falls silent. Finally, a marketing executive from the after-sales division looks up. Are you telling me these cars hardly ever come back to the workshop? The engineer smiles with pride, but his expression fades when the director responds, then we have a problem, a very big problem. The M104 was an engine designed by engineers to last for generations, but ultimately it was sacrificed by financial strategy. It was built with zero compromises, a rigid cast iron block, a 24 valve aluminum cylinder head, and an overbuilt crankshaft designed to endure hundreds of thousands of kilometers. From the very beginning, it embodied Mercedes-Benz's philosophy of durability, a philosophy that, ironically, would become its undoing. Replacing an engine as dependable as the Mercedes M104 was never going to be a trivial decision. Yet, in the 1990s, Mercedes chose to retire it. Officially, the company explained the move as a response to new technical requirements, stricter emission standards, demands for greater fuel efficiency, and the fact that the classic inline-six was considered too large for the increasingly compact engine bays of modern cars. To fill the gap, Mercedes introduced the new M112 V6 and M113 V8 engines. They were lighter, more compact, and technologically advanced, but they were also more complex. With aluminum blocks, slimmer timing chains, and far more electronics, the new powertrains quickly revealed their weaknesses. Head gasket failures, faulty sensors, and rising maintenance costs. For many owners, the shift marked the end of an era. Where the M104 could easily cover 500,000 kilometers without major incident, the new engines often demanded more frequent, and costly, work. What Mercedes presented as a step forward in innovation was in reality a strategic pivot. The M104 wasn't replaced because it was obsolete, but because it was too durable. In the premium car market, vehicle sales bring only part of the profit. The real revenue comes from after-sales service, and an engine that almost never fails leaves dealerships with fewer repair opportunities. Internal reports at the time hinted at the uncomfortable truth the M104's cost of ownership was too low for the company's business model. The solution? Migrate to an architecture that encouraged more regular interventions. This decision deeply divided Mercedes. From an engineering perspective, giving up the inline six felt like a regression, but commercially, it was seen as an opportunity. Quietly, the M104 disappeared from the catalog, replaced by newer engines that, while more modern on paper, were far more vulnerable in practice. What the company didn't anticipate was the reaction. Instead of fading into obscurity, the M104 became a cult icon. In regions where reliability is more than a luxury, Eastern Europe, the Middle East, North Africa, 25 and 30-year-old Mercedes cars equipped with the M104 began to rise in value. Buyers didn't care about luxury or styling. What mattered was the assurance that these engines could be trusted. By the 2000s, an unusual trend emerged. Some owners of newer Mercedes models were pulling out their less reliable V6 engines and swapping in reconditioned M104s. The logic was simple, less electronics, fewer breakdowns, and peace of mind. 
In places like Marseille, independent specialists reported clients importing M104 blocks from abroad and paying thousands of euros just to regain the reliability they felt had been lost. On classified sites, used M104 engines became rare, snapped up within hours. The fascination wasn't limited to nostalgic owners. A new generation of enthusiasts, many born after the M104's heyday, discovered the engine through YouTube restoration videos and swap projects. What intrigued them wasn't the horsepower figure, but what the M104 represented, an era when cars were engineered first and foremost to last. It became more than just an engine. It became a statement, a quiet rebellion against planned obsolescence. So what made the M104 so enduring? The answer lies in uncompromising design. Unlike many manufacturers who shifted to aluminum blocks, Mercedes stayed with cast iron, providing unmatched dimensional stability even after decades of heat cycles. Internal wear was minimal, extending the engine's lifespan dramatically. The forged crankshaft rode on seven main bearings, two more than most rival engines, reducing stress and ensuring smooth, long-lasting operation. The timing chain was wide and heavy-duty, designed to last hundreds of thousands of kilometers when properly lubricated, eliminating the need for regular belt replacements. The oiling system was overbuilt, ensuring that every component received consistent lubrication under extreme conditions, from heat waves to traffic jams to icy mornings. Cooling passages were oversized and carefully placed to prevent hot spots and warping. Even the intake and exhaust manifolds were optimized for balanced airflow and lower operating temperatures. In some long-duration bench tests, N104 engines ran continuously for months. When disassembled, the internal wear was so minimal that technicians thought the measurements had to be wrong. The M104 wasn't just reliable, it was over-engineered. Built beyond the demands of its time, it became a benchmark of what mechanical durability could mean. While too costly to survive in today's business environment, it remains proof that engines can be built to defy time itself. Even after production ended, the M104's legacy spread quietly through the industry. Some Mercedes engineers who worked on it later moved to other automakers, taking with them the same obsession with precision and durability. Echoes of the M104's philosophy can be found in BMW's naturally aspirated straight sixes of the 1990s and 2000s, or Toyota's legendary JZ series engines, both celebrated for their smoothness and bulletproof construction. Ironically, after nearly a decade of focusing on V6s, Mercedes itself circled back. Today, the brand once again offers inline six engines, most notably the M256. Though modernized with turbocharging, mild hybrid systems, and layers of electronics, the M256 still pays homage to its predecessor's core strengths, balance, refinement, and inherent mechanical durability. As one Mercedes engineer admitted in an interview, even back then we knew the inline six was the best architecture. We only abandoned it for packaging reasons. Now, surviving M104 powered cars are seen as rolling treasures, not just for their legendary reliability, but for what they symbolize, the last era when Mercedes built engines as if they were meant to last a century. Seeing a 124 or R129 glide silently down the road after 30 years, with no warning lights on the dashboard and an engine running as smoothly as ever, makes that legacy feel tangible. The M104 wasn't simply a power plant, it was a declaration of intent. Built without compromise, it was too good for a world where profitability outweighed mechanical honesty. And that's why today, decades after its production ended, the M104 has transcended its technical role. It has become a legend, not because of sheer power, but because it refused to die. If you find one still in good condition, you're not just owning a Mercedes, you're preserving a piece of history, a chapter the company itself tried to erase.